I don't give a hoot who Todd sleeps with, okay? I'm just a little concerned I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel when it comes to you. You are the one who slept with Kevin when oh. he was still my husband. Okay, <gasps> not that that's anything new. You always seem to go after men who are interested Let, in let's me. Let's get the story straight here, Kelly. You always go after my man. Does Max Holden ring a bell? Ding, ding, ding. Oh, it did once he got tired of you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am not interested in Todd anymore. I've moved on with someone else. Then why does it bother you he has offered me a job? Because I don't like you. I'm sorry I tried to be nice to you because we're family and then you lost your mother. But that's old news. Excuse me? And I don't want to have to look at your face every single day. How's that? Hey, Jerry, I listen, uh, would that you bring up another copy really? of that Kelly? Why don't you just oh, get oh, yeah. on the plane and go back to London? And do what you want me to do. Do you ever have doubts? About what? Cole? About being with him forever? Not anymore. Not after everything we've been through to find our way back to each other. Now we're raising our daughter together, so... Yeah, see? Really is an amazing love story. Yeah, I guess it is. So you'll let me do the play? Hey, score some snacks from the vending machine. I thought you wanted me to live. Oh, come on, you gotta get something solid in that stomach. You didn't have to do all of this. I know I didn't. The same way that all the people that helped me didn't have to. But I don't know what I would have done without them. So you're paying it forward? Something like that. Hey, are you sure, uh, sure you don't want to see a doctor or my mom? I'm sure. Thanks. But there is... One other thing I need from you. We didn't stay in our own worlds, and then somehow we found each other. That was a long time ago. No, it wasn't. Not for me. You sure you should be talking to me? Somebody might see you. Sorry about Heather and Heather. They're not really my friends. They think you're dangerous. Oh, well, you don't? I think we could be friends. I keep making you do that. That was the first time I saw your art. These are amazing. You draw them? You're a real artist. Is that what you want to do with your life? It's a stupid dream. Like you being friends with someone like me. See? Dreams do come true. So, how did you get your memory back? Oh, I had a very good doctor. He was a very good-looking doctor. And then he went crazy. So sad. Anyway, it came back in bits and pieces. And then I got chunks of it, and then the whole thing came back. You know? I was relieved, that's for sure. Well, Jessica's living in the past and loving it, really. <laughs> well, who could blame her? Who wouldn't want to go back to a time when things were simpler and everything was clear? You know, I think that every song on this old box holds a memory for me. Is that a good thing? Mostly. Natalie, I know we're not exactly close, but when I think about everything you went through last year, I realize I can't get upset about Jessica crushing on Christian. Sure you can. I'd be pissed as hell. Well, at least Christian and I are still together. I mean, Brody is so in love with Jessica, and he isn't even a part of her life. Man, it feels good to cut loose. I have had so much on my mind lately. You and me both, brother. You never got around to telling me what it was that was bothering you. Really? Mm. How about that? Yeah. <laughs>